Hey guys, so today I'm doing a multiple first impressions video. So what I've done is I had a bunch of kind of like high-end, more expensive products I want to try all together for you guys. So I have the Their Real Mascara, the Their Real Push Up Liner, NARS Foundation, a primer, a eyeshadow palette, um, I think that's about it. Oh, and a brush. So, yeah, this is the look I've created. Um, it's not the most exciting look. It's just playing around with new products. I didn't want to do too bold because I'm actually going to work in an hour. But yeah, if you'd like to see what products I use, what I thought of them, and how I created this look, please get watching. I'm starting out today with the Bourjois Happy Lights Serum Base in Illuminate. I'm taking like one and a half pumps of this all over my face. And this will act as my eye primer as well. I'm so this base smells incredible. It's got kind of like a baby powder smell to it and I really like it. And it just adds like a soft glow to your skin. So for my eyes today, I'm doing them first. I'm taking my new Morphe palette. This is the 12NB palette. And it looks like this. Just like some kind of like neutral. There's a warm tone brown. There's a warm tone ready brown. And just a few shimmers. It's so pretty. I'm going to start out with this cream shade. Just all over the eyelid. Of course, just to neutralize that, just to neutralize it and cover any veining a little bit and just to set that base. And I'm going to work my way up the shades. So, first, I'm taking this one, which is below that cream. I'm going to go into this kind of like yellowy toned brown colour next. So it's just a very neutral colour. Then I'm going to take the next one, which is this darker one here. And this is the base shadow brush. I'm just putting this just in the outer corner. Once again, just blend everything together. Sorry about the terrible lighting today. It's kind of overcast. So this is a little hard to blend. I'm not sure if it's the shadows or that primer. I'm going to take this golden bronzy shade here. And I'm not going too overboard with this makeup just because I have work tonight. In with that darker crease shade and the base shadow brush. I'm just going to put this right in my crease. And I'm going to take a little bit of this shade here, which is like a darker 
It's got a little bit of a warm red tone to it. And this is just going on the outer corner. So I'm just going for like a soft, smoky look. lower lash line I'm taking my elf C brush into the yellow toned shade first take off the excess because this is very pigmented So that's just the base for my little lash line. I will go back and fix it up later. But now, as I said, I'm taking a Q-tip and some makeup remover. And I'm just going to clean up a little line there. For foundation today, I am super excited to try this. I have a sample of the NARS All Day Luminous Weightness Foundation in Light. So I'm going to try this out. This is only a tiny sample, so, so we're just going to go for it. Um, it smells delicious, I can say that much. Wow, it's super runny. We'll start out with that because that's just what came out. I'm also doing using for the first time my MAC 130 brush. Mm. It seems like a pretty good colour match, which is nice. It's got a real yellowy tone to it. Okay, so this brush is shedding already and really, really streaky. Like, I'm trying to get a straight line and all I get is streaks. It does look a little cakey, I will say. And for it to be light, lightweight and... I expect it to be like one of them invisible on the skin ones. Like, it's super lightweight, but cakey. I feel like I'm putting straight cover effects drops on. And I feel so yellow right now. I literally feel like a Simpson. Okay, so... You can see on camera how yellow that looks. Not sure how I feel about it. I think I might save this and mix it with one of my darker, pinker toned foundations and just see how that colour matches. Um, like I said, it kind of looks cakey on the skin. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, this brush I do like. That's blended that concealer out so smoothly. I feel like this would be awesome for like a cream contour product. Because you could really just get in the cheek and buff it out. I might try this with my Colourpop bronzer and my designer brand instant face bronzer. Because I think it would be so good just for getting in the cheekbones. Or even to apply a highlight. Just like, I don't know. It's small which makes it tedious to do a face with kind of. But I do like it. 
Okay, so looking at my mirror away from the light, it definitely does have a luminous glow to it, which I do really, really like. Um, and I just tapped over it with my complexion sponge, and it's kind of settled a lot. It's a very tacky foundation, but that's okay because I am going to set it. I don't have a high-end setting powder, so I'm just taking my Models Prefer Soft Touch Mineral Powder. Um, you could use one of the hourglass powders, but I find it a little more glowy than this is. Arc Powder Brush, I think it's called. This is just a dupe for it because I'm poor. I actually have some more makeup coming. I'm super excited. Next, we have uh, blush, bronzer, and highlight. So I'm taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. And I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. And just contour a little bronze up the outside of my face. The temples. I may want to just pull in that out a little more. I find this goes very, very red on me, this bronzer. Like, it probably looks alright on camera. I swear, there's like a yellow light coming through here. Maybe it's like the reflection of the tree, but it's looking very yellow. Like, everything. For blush, I don't have a blush brush. I'm going to use that same brush. And I'm going to take this one, which is Mood Exposure. Which is just like a taupey kind of colour. It's a very mauve tone. Which I like. The other one's um, Luminous Blush. And it's just way too pink toned. Next for another face palette. I'm taking the Benefit Real Cheeky Party palette. I'm going to take my contour brush from Real Techniques into Hula. Just a little bit. I probably should have just used this shade only. I'm going to take a little bit of this down the sides of my nose as well. So the final step for my face, I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, pressed in Champagne Pop. I always go to open it from the hinge side. So this, surely you would have all seen. It's so pretty. Try not to blind you. So I'm just taking that on my e.l.f. blush brush. This is like my favourite highlight brush. I'm just going to tap it off because I only want a little bit of this. And just sweep this up the cheekbones and over the brow bone. Now I'll get back onto the eyes. Um, I'm going back into my Morphe palette. And I'm going to take a mixture of them two shimmery lid shades under my eye. And last but not least, I'm taking this shade here, which is like a shimmery golden colour. And popping that on my inner corner as a highlight. I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipstick in Tulip, which is just like a darker, nudie colour. Well, it's not nude, it's pink. But it's still a very natural, easy to wear colour. I'm also going to take a little bit of pink peony just in the centre. The last two products are the Very Real Push Up Liner and Mascara. So first for the Push Up Liner, I think I tried to use this once before and failed. Taking the Vareal Mascara, 
put my hair down. This is so cute. I love this. Okay, I can see why everybody loves this mascara. This is super nice. It's not the most volumizing, but it's so lengthening. Oh my god, that's perfect for bottom lashes. Okay, so that's my lashes so far. I have to say, I'm impressed with this mascara. Maybe not the most incredible I have tried, I will say. But I definitely do like it. I'm going to do one more coat. So, that is the finished look. I am obsessed. It's very natural, just simple, just playing around some new products. So... I'd say this liner is terrible. <laughs> oh. But my foundation looks pretty decent. You can just definitely see all the congestion in my forehead showing up in it. But like these are so pigmented. Like, go that dark one. The shimmer one we we'll use. They just I've gotta do one more, don't we? What other one? Like, honestly, look at the pigmentation. These are incredible. You'll obviously hear about these products in future videos and get more of a detailed review and what I think of them. But if you liked watching this kind of like first impressions makeup, please give a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in my next video.